The Ukrainian government is fighting Russia at the UN tribunal. Seven months ago, the Russian Coast Guard fired upon and captured 24 Ukrainian Navy personnel and three military vessels. And on May 25th, judges at the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea gave their verdict on the case. It was the result Ukraine had been hoping for. By 19 votes to one, the Russian Federation shall immediately release the 24 detained Ukrainian servicemen and allowed them to return to Ukraine. Ukraine sought provisional measures, a sort of immediate protection for the military personnel. As is expected, the full case on the subject matter could go on for years. In fact, the case will not be dealt with in this court. We will create a separate arbitration case. It will last for years. The main thing we have received today is the release of our sailors and ships. This is what the tribunal has considered. Ukraine has a very good point by arguing that um, the Russian Federation has violated uh, the immunity of the warships and the military personnel on board of these ships, and that essentially means the immunity of Ukraine as a state. It remains to be seen whether Russia complies with the ruling. At the time the Ukrainian sailors were captured in the neutral waters of the Black Sea, they were returning to their port of departure in Odessa. This fact could well be considered as evidence against Russia's case in future hearings.